and gentlemen, I have become a time traveler. And in today's video, I will be traveling one billion years into the future. But you guys totally will become a billionaire if you guys leave a like on today's video. That is just a proven scientific fact. We're going into the future. 10,000 years into the future, what would planet Earth look like? Okay, I don't think planet Earth would look like that 10,000 years into the future, but uh, who am I? You know, I am just a simple time traveler, guys. I gotta put on my super smart time traveling glasses. Now you have to believe every word that I say. Would most of its surface be covered in volcanoes? Maybe. Or would it be frozen in ice? It, it could. It very what well could. You traveled even further. To one million years in the future. One million years. Would all of the oceans have evaporated? Well, I can't tell you, or but I will would it have later. One giant water world. No, Statue of Liberty, no. Okay, now, what about one billion years? One billion years. Would there be any humans left? I don't think so. Or would they have settled in other parts of the galaxy? Uh, yeah, you guys, I, I, I want to point that out. If we do not settle in other parts of the galaxy before one billion years is up, it's over for humanity. This is what if, and here's what would happen if you traveled one billion years into the one future. One billion years. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before we hop into this, I want you guys to comment down below what, what you think the world is going to look like a billion years in the future. Now, don't skip ahead and then go back and then comment. I know some of you guys will do that just to look cool and smart and epic, but do not do that. That is cheating. You're a little rat. Was that Scarlett Johansson? Let's face it. The chances of any humans being around to greet you when you arrive one billion years into the future are pretty low. Sad. Several so sad. Several key existential threats face the human race, and if we want to be around in one billion years, we'll need to endure them all. We've seen how much we've struggled to come together just to survive a global pandemic. So how do we have any chance of enduring the threats of climate change, overpopulation, global nuclear war, killer asteroids and comets, natural ice ages, and the sun getting a whole lot hot? Guys, I don't know if this is true, but I've actually heard that overpopulation might not be as much of an issue as we originally thought, and underpopulation could be a bigger issue, where if there's not enough people in the world to fulfill all of the different jobs and tasks that we need on a day-to-day -day basis, then there's not going to be people to run the important things. Like there's not going to be people that work at the stores. There's not going to be people that work at these like giant chemical plants that produce power and things like that. There's a million different jobs out there that need billions of people for the world to run. So if we don't have enough people, then the world might shut down as we know it. Otter. Well, let's take a look into the future and find out. 10,000 years. 10,000 years from now, we're going to run into a big problem called the Deca Millennium Bug. Okay, what did he just say? The Deca Millennium, what? Is that going to be like a virus? In the year 10,000 AD, software encoding the AD calendar year won't encode dates with more than four decimals. <laughs> what? Remember Y2K? Yeah, it's just like that, except hopefully we won't panic as much this time. Okay, guys, I don't know if I'm just like overthinking this, but that does not seem like a problem. It, like, if I'm thinking 10,000 years into the future, I'm not like spending my nights thinking like, oh my gosh, the computers, the computers aren't going to know what date it is because they don't have the technical capacity to learn the new dates. I'm not really worried about that. I feel like that is kind of an easy fix. You could just update your computer, right? Like all of the computers kind of just do that automatically right now. They just update. So I feel like that's an easy fix. In 10,000 years, I am way more worried about uh, will octopi evolve to take over the world? Because if an octopus learns how to use a machine gun, we're not going to be doing too hot, ladies and gentlemen. And those are the other things like global warming, potential asteroids, the moon slowly moving away from the earth. So there's other things that I'm worried about more than just our computers not knowing what date it is around on the bright side in 10,000 years genetic differences and traits between humans will no longer be regional traits like skin and hair color will be evenly distributed around the world oh that's pretty Maybe cool that will help us all get along finally 
So he's basically saying that because the entire world is becoming more, I guess, diverse, like people that were born in one place are traveling to a different place. And then, you know, they're having their own offspring. And then that just keeps happening. And by way of that, the world just becomes more and more diverse. It's like a giant melting pot of just all different types of people, species, or not species. That would be strange. I take that back. Just different types of people and cultures blending together. And then people are just going to kind of start to look more and more like one another than different. 20,000 years into the future, none of the current languages will be recognizable. Huh? Future languages Wait, really? will only contain 1% of the core vocabulary words of their present day counterparts. Are you telling me brain rot is going to become that bad that we're going to forget all of our languages? Are you serious? 50,000 years from now will mark a new glacial period for the Earth. That's not will start good. A new ice age. Niagara Falls will have eroded into Lake Erie completely. Wow. And interestingly, a full day on Earth will also increase by one second at this point in time. <laughs> oh, whoa. So much more time whoa. <laughs> what am I going to do with my extra second? Because I'm totally going to be living because I'm a time traveler. In 250,000 years, the Lo'ihi volcano will rise above the water to form a new island in Hawaii. Okay, I know that this guy hasn't talked about any of, like, the space part of what would happen in the future, but, I mean, there's already talks of, in the next 10 to 20 years, of having manned missions to Mars, and then, eventually, you would think that in, like, 50 to 100 years, they would have entire colonies on Mars. So, I want him to talk more about that, since, I mean, it seems like on Earth a lot of things are going to change over time, which makes sense because when you think about it, we haven't been here that long. We've only been here like, you know, in, in a couple thousand years, to be honest, where like we actually were able to do things to change the world. And um, it seems like as it stands now, the world is going to change whether we like it or not. And humans might not be able to adapt as well. So that's why we have to get to Mars. We have to get to other planets just so, you know, you never know what happens with these planets. So if anything happens to Earth, we'll still be OK as a species if we're on Mars or Uranus, which I don't think is possible. But if it, if we have to do it, I will go to Uranus. That got weird. And in 500,000 years, it's likely that an asteroid with a diameter greater than one kilometer will huh? hit Earth. Okay, Unless I'm not time traveling there. It. Yeah, space lasers. The yes. The will be no less than 400 kilometers across. Oh. It will start fires all over the planet and make the air unbreathable. Okay, so what you're basically saying is we have to start a, a timer now and we have to either make space lasers that can uh, d d cut up a space asteroid or we have to abandon Earth and get to Mars. Or better yet, what if we make like space rockets and we can move the asteroid out of the way? I am a genius. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I am an actual genius. So there's something to look forward to. And in case that's not enough, in one million years, we'll likely have another super volcano eruption Ooh. large enough to spew out 3200 cubic kilometers of ash and i'm pretty sure that would be the super volcano that is yellowstone national park i don't want to scare anybody out there that did not know this but for those of you guys that have been living under patrick's rock Yellowstone, where they have like the old faithful geysers and stuff, that is actually a giant, super massive volcano that hasn't, you know, exploded. But if it does, it's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. It's going to be like me after I have six Chipotle burritos. That level of bad. It would produce enough lava to fill 75% of the Grand Canyon. Oh, cool. It'll this just would go be there. Similar to the Toba eruption that almost wiped out humanity 70,000 years ago. I did not know about oh, that. And the nearby star Betelgeuse will have exploded into a supernova by this time. Not Betelgeuse, no! Don't say his name three times. Visible from Earth, even during the daytime. Wow. Okay, I mean, as you know, it seems like there's a lot of destruction there. But guys, as a time traveler, it would be kind of neat to teleport there. And then I just watch all of the chaos happen. And then I just teleport back into the future, like even further. Because it would be kind of cool to see another star exploding in the night sky. 
In 2 million AD, humanity will have settlements throughout the solar system. Really? This awesome. also means that if populations on different planets have remained separate, humans what was that? may have evolved into other species wait, adapted wait, what, to their specific world. What? In 10 million years, I, I guess that is how evolution works. If evolution is real, which I believe, ev ev it's not even a belief. Evolution is real, okay? Things evolve over time. But yeah, I never even thought about it like that. That if humans go to other planets, which is probably going to happen one day, if you leave those people there for millions and millions of years, eventually they're going to adapt to their environment. And every single planet has different gravity, different weather, different conditions. So there's going to be a lot of different types of humans, which is going to be kind of cool. Huge part of Eastern Africa will not, break off. Not the elephant. A new ocean basin. No. In 50 million years, Africa will collide with Eurasia, closing off the Mediterranean Sea, and a new mountain range will form between the two land masses. Is it just me or does like it blow your mind that it, like right now, technically, we are on a on a piece of land that is just slowly moving. It is just slowly shifting, but we can't feel it because it's so slow. And also too, when you think about it, we are shifting on a piece of land on a giant ball floating through space at like a bajillion miles per hour. If you think about it too hard, you might hurt yourself. This I have done that. may include a mountain taller than Mount Everest. Out in space, Mars will collide with its moon. Oh, that, sorry, Mars. Resulting in it developing a ring system. Like <laughs> Wait a second. So does that mean that Mars is like cooked? <laughs> Can we not go to Mars anymore because it's going to get hit by an asteroid moon? Like Saturn's. <laughs> is anywhere safe? In 60 million years, the Canadian and American Rockies will have eroded entirely. Wait, what? What a glow In up. 80 million years. All bye Hawaii bye, Hawaii. Will be below the water. Sorry, Hawaii. And that might happen a lot sooner with global warming. So, uh, yeah, RIP Hawaii eventually. Sorry, Hawaii. In 100 million years. If you're in Hawaii, you probably already know that. So, if I'm the first person to tell you that, I am so sorry. An asteroid similar to the one that killed the dinosaurs 66 million years ago will likely hit Earth. Are you kidding me? One that is 10 kilometers wide. Also, how do how do the scientists know that? In 50 million years, all of Earth's continents will be fused together like Pangaea. Another Pangaea? This time, it will be called Pangaea Ultima. <laughs> but what? don't get too attached to it because in 400 to 500 million years, Pangaea Ultima will separate again. Oh, cool. New map unlocked. Fortnite chapter 4. 500 to in 600 500 million to years. 600 million years. A gamma ray Ooh. burst will likely occur within 6,500 light years from Earth. So you're telling me when I am 500 million years old, we're going to get attacked by aliens? If what? it strikes Earth, it could damage the ozone layer and trigger a mass extinction. What? 600 million years from now, the moon will be so far from Earth that total solar eclipses will no longer be possible. And I'm guessing, too, that's probably going to affect our oceans. That is, if we even have oceans after we get blasted with plasma rays. And the sun's increasing luminosity the will what? have Illuminati? on Earth so much that it could halt plate tectonics movement. In 800 million years, carbon dioxide levels will drop dramatically. Oh, God. Photosynthesis will no longer oh, be possible. Oh, my God. The plants are anti-spiraling. and ozone will disappear from the atmosphere. No. And complex life on Earth will die. So, guys, what we're eventually going to get to is Earth is no longer going to be habitable. It is, it is a crazy thought, but Earth is going to completely get destroyed by so many different things which is why we need an alternative option as Beck bro time traveler i vote we go to uranus that's just my vote uh, you know everybody can vote on it i don't know where we go either that or we build an international space station rocket ship that would be kind of cool i would live there and finally 
In one billion years, the sun's luminosity will have increased by 10%. The Illuminati the average has struck again. Earth will be 47 degrees Celsius. Oh my god. Our atmosphere will feel like a damp greenhouse and oh our oceans my god. will evaporate. It's not we habitable. Just pockets of water at each of the poles. It's an apocalypse. Dear lord, what about the fishies? Well, when you arrive here in your time eh. machine, be mentally prepared to take in a planet Earth that looks nothing like the one you remember. I think my time machine might burn as the soon as I land. Will be gone. Wow. Hopefully, living its best life on some other far off planet. Because of the intense heat, lack of water, and lack of breathable air, Earth will be uninhabitable. So you're basically telling so me Wally was a documentary. Instead, you should. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is what will happen coming from a time traveler in one billion years.